Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs Episode 12 of uh, the FreeSalonEducation.com podcast, powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, if you're looking to upgrade your salon or barbershop, go to our friends, MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, they've helped over 175,000 salon businesses worldwide. Um, we've got... they furnished our entire salon. Uh, We've been using their equipment for years now, probably nine, 10 years we've had Minerva equipment. Um, And we're about to uh, embark on getting a little bit more Minerva equipment as well. So um, go check them out, MinervaBeauty.com. And that's it. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, are listening on Apple and Spotify. Um, and I got Brian Hare with me. Hi. Yeah, you do. Carly. Hey. <laughs> Christina. Hey, what's up? <laughs> and uh, and that's it. So um, we got some fun things to talk about today. Uh, not a ton of time to talk, but that's uh, keeping the show short. <laughs> that's how we like it. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we're going to talk about gray hair. Um, and then we're also going to talk about uh, making clothes out of human hair. That's, I don't know if, what you guys think about that. Uh, we got some trivia and then also um, uh, Dyson tool was stolen from somebody at TSA. So oh. we're in the- not Carly. <laughs> nope. Not Carly. Don't call me me. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first thing up, let's talk about um, what if you could reverse gray hair. And this is an article that's out uh, that I read on Apple News. But what I want to talk about with it is not necessarily the article. I want to talk about the idea that you could reverse gray hair. Would we be for it? No. So, as, so for the <laughs> obvious reason, no, right? Yeah, I've said for years, like if as soon as there's a scientist that figures out a pill how to do that, every hairdresser is going to be falling over themselves to assassinate that scientist <laughs> before the patent goes out because that will destroy our business. Yeah. Do you think more people now are letting gray be there? Mm. Cause I still think they're highlighting, right? And you you know, you're behind the chair with female clients yeah. more often with long hair and highlighting and all that. But um, what do you guys think? Like, so back in the day, actually like ten years ago, I would have said, Yeah, definitely. We were doing a ton of dark root touch ups constantly. I don't know if that's still as do you feel like it's still just the same or do you feel like a a lot of those people do grow out their gray? I feel like, I feel like a a lot of people tried it after COVID. Yeah. And almost all of them decided it wasn't for them. Like I have a couple, like if I gun to my head, had to count maybe on one hand, the people that stuck with it. Okay. Do you think there's any exceptions in the age range? Well, I mean, yeah, like the people that have embraced it, we're talking, you know, a little bit more mature, maybe like 50s and up. Because by then, like, it's just, they just care a little bit less, but still so few people are doing it. Because especially in that range of 50s, like, you're not old yet. And a head full of gray hair makes you look and feel a little Mm -hmm. older. So while it's a fun idea and the cute little 19 year old on Instagram looks really great with smoky gray hair, it's a very different ball of wax when it's your real gray hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is the question, like if they are going gray, are they really going their natural gray? Right. Right. Yeah. And do you think like, so when I was thinking about this, because obviously we're in the boat too, like we, if we could also take a pill and not have gray hair, I mean, I reversed my gray hair accidentally. I made Matt check in because I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> I, I, I had like two gray hairs. And I was like, Matt, I just need you to look at this. Like the roots of this have color again, right? And he's like, that's so weird. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know why. So I'm just I'm Benjamin Buttoning right in front I of you. Think, I think it's fine. And as long as people still um, always want something different, I don't think it would affect the color. It would because I don't that, think they want, I, I, tell you, like, I don't think they want the gray that's coming out of their head. 
like almost all of them. I think they still want either a blend, a tone, uh, you know. But like so many people say, oh, well, people still get other stuff done. But honestly, the the solid bedrock of every single one of my paychecks is gray coverage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Mm -hmm. it might not be all, but it's like what keeps the lights on. Yeah. 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 I feel like I've noticed more people wanting gray blending than gray coverage, though. Like, I think a lot of, um, you know, my darker hair clients are realizing the drastic contrast between their dark hair and their really light gray mm-hmm. and not wanting to come in. Which is then every four weeks, kind of a so. higher ticket if you're foiling in that yeah. and blending yeah. that. So yeah. I think, it, I don't know, I'm kind of for. But it. that would know. go away, though. Right. right. Like I have some clients right now. I would just had one this week for the last few years because she's got darker brown hair, but the grays are, as they do, multiplying. Mm-hmm. And I've just been trying to like strategically balayage to kind of make you not notice it. Mm-hmm. And she just said this past week, she's like, we're going to get through the summer and then I think it's time. Mm-hmm. Like we're going to have to start covering, which is cool because now she's going to go from a 10 week client to a six week client. Mm hmm. Like, luckily, I like seeing her. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I would love to know other people's thoughts. Um, definitely in the in the chat. How do you feel about it? Obviously, I don't know how close we are to this, but I think it is kind of inevitable in a way. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, I mean, they figure out how to do everything genetic. Yeah. Like, that seems like a pretty easy fix. I feel Julie like- from the chat. She said she'll be fifty nine next week. Happy birthday, Julie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And she's tried a couple times to own my gray, but. I don't like my natural dark. It's so drab. Yeah. So. And that's where I think like a lot of people don't like what they naturally have. Yeah. Um, we it's definitely live in a world cornerstone of, of, of our business. filters and that. <laughs> yeah. So. And then Shannon said that lots of gray blending and clients want to embrace gray and tone to look silver gray paying money, money, money Yeah, <laughs> to get that gray and silver yeah. look. So. That's true. I think I, I don't know. I'm not against it really. I mean, I think if I have to be totally honest, I think it would be great for the species to be able to make that thing that causes so much anxiety and unhappiness go away. Mm -hmm. But as somebody who makes all of my money making that go away, like, (laughs) shit, that's going to (laughs) suck. I think if the hair world can invent something to make that transformation happen easier or like a lot stress, less stressful for us, because it's hard to make someone like a fake, gray or like to oh, right. turn them yeah. from yeah. that. So like if that could happen, that would be great because that's a lot of it's a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah. And you're seeing it all over Instagram too. Like yeah. these huge transformations, you know, um, yeah. I forget Jack's last name, but that, filters. Um, <laughs> and filters. yeah, you never know. Um, yeah. But a lot of people see, oh, this person just turned this person the perfect gray. Right. And color. I'm like, okay, yeah. now expand the caption of that and see that that was a nine and a half hour day and a $2,000 service. Right. Like, yeah. Sure. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Right. On this 90 minute appointment we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. So a startup um, is make a uh, company is making sustainable clothes from human hair. So it uh, says in a push for <laughs> sustainability, some scientists believe human hair is a renewable material that has been overlooked. Now the fashion industry is taking notice a startup company in Amsterdam uh, called Human Material Loop totally Amsterdam. is turning strands <laughs> that would normally be thrown away into fabric. One thing that makes human hair, human material loops uh, process different is the lack of water used, according to the Environment uh, Environment America. Hmm. I mean, I, oh, that's in, it's interesting. It it's t- interesting. I think you they use. People use animal hair for things, and like, I know. so I, I don't see what the I the first place that my mind goes to with this is because I've been friends with my friend pal for too long now. Is that if this were something to catch on, this would be something that bad people would take advantage of, and before well, you know it, you've got farms yeah, with right. people That's in there. Everything that, mass right, produced. That's event. what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like. Oh, what a great idea! Let's. But then someone's going to ruin the sustainability of it, and just and have a warehouse girls are just with giving girls up. chained to beds, growing oh my God, hair. Stop. Like, Ugh, don't say that. I would just be worried, like, if my hair was used, and then that person went and committed a crime. 
<laughs> like, is my hair the fiber? Gonna be the DNA? Is the fiber in the clothes <laughs> right. that was left behind? Yeah. Oh, we found Just a so swatch clear, Carly, that was stuck no on the fence. No one fe- is taking your fried hair. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> like there's oh there's a swatch on the fence. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a shirt. Yeah, and it's Carly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh man. No thanks. This says it takes more than 700 gallons of water to produce one cotton T-shirt. What? Oh, wow. It's a weird average. That's yeah. crazy. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of water. Yeah. Wow. Can I just get in the shower with the shirt on and shampoo it to wash it? <laughs> like, is that how that goes? Wait, I'm, to wash it? What do you mean? I mean, do you have the to be more gentle? Shirt? Yeah. You have like, to do be you more gentle. Do throw it in the washing machine or do you like shampoo yourself <laughs> while you wear it? Yeah, you don't put Tide on your hair. I would. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've all used I like, it. I don't know, Pantene. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think I would wear a human hair shirt. No. I feel like I do every day when I go home. Yes. <laughs> like, I mean, you wake up with Rocky's hair all over you, so you're true. wearing a I dog hair shirt. I Why not? <laughs> I know. Every morning I wake up, I'm like, oh. <laughs> when I go home, like there's hair everywhere. I'm like, Ugh, at least it's clean. <laughs> 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 oh. Um. All right. I got a trivia question. Oh. What are our scores? Um, poof. One. Carly's on Thank the board. <laughs> one to two. I, I have one or two. I have three. You have three. I should have four. I but think we have two. Cool. Carly has one. All right. One, two, and I have three. Should have yeah. four. Ghost point. Whatever. All right. I so should've... this question is basically, um, let me find it here. Love that fat baseline. What year was the first hair highlight performed? Oh, there's been a lot of years on Earth. Can we? Are we talking like we're talking? I have not been on Earth like, that many years. We're so. talking every every year. <laughs> the of first all the highlight years. like that was paid in a salon, no, or like just done, done, or like someone who spilled lemon juice on their hair back in Mesopotamian times. Mesopotamian. <laughs> Like, yeah, right. Like, is this intentional highlight or first, like, discovery it's of intentional. highlight? It's like an Lucy intentional. It's an intentional. I'll, I'll give you this. It's an intentional highlight. Me, mm-hmm. one, highlight. <laughs> <laughs> With a mixture of something. Developer? Huh? Developer? Pro- like, peroxide? Well, no, you when? Mean? Oh. oh, like, when? <laughs> oh. We don't like that question. Asking, how did it come out? Is what he's. What was the tone they went with? Uh, um, I'm gonna say. Yeah. How do we do this? Should I do multiple choice or should no, I? No, like whoever gets closest. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's fine. Without going over, or whoever gets closest within like five or something, whatever you want to do is fine. Mm. I want to say like 1600s. Mm. I'm gonna say. Well, what are you saying? I can't have a 100 year. Oh, you window. could say 1600. <laughs> oh, no, within those hundreds. No, no. <laughs> oh, Just cast God. a wide net. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's say 1650. 1650, okay. Um, I'm going to say. Hmm. Carly, what do you say? Ancient Egyptians love their dark hair. <laughs> I don't know, they were looking to highlight. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, say 17, <laughs> 1704. Hmm. Wow. That sounds very specific. <laughs> it also sounds like it came straight from her ass. So. <laughs> you heard it first. Oh. Um, oh. And I'm going to go with 1826. Okay. <laughs> so, we really could have done 100 year gaps. There. We could have, yeah. <laughs> 6th century BC. Oh my god. I don't oh even god. know when that is. <laughs> but let me let me just say wh- why this was interesting. If you believe. When women in ancient Greece would lighten their hair using homemade elixir of olive oil, gold flakes, lemon juice and pollen. Yeah. And they'd sit in the sun. And it would work. And they'd bake under direct sunlight. I would smart allergies. I would die. <laughs> Can we start oh offering that service on the back deck? <laughs> <laughs> Get some gold. Plenty you could just back juice. there. Like, <laughs> yeah, we should. 
Yeah. Be like, yeah, I can squeeze you and just <laughs> go lay right there. <laughs> Come back when it's pretty. <laughs> oh. All right. So. One point for. So they were doing it back then. They didn't have one great coverage. One point for Matt, I guess. You know? All right. Now I see how we're playing. <laughs> I know. That was, I don't like that what if year you get was the it first wrong. Year bangs ever came on someone's head. <laughs> I don't like when yeah, we, someone gets it wrong, the person shouldn't get the point because it's like a dumb question. Wait, that was your idea. <laughs> that's because that's that's cause it was going to be my point. point. <laughs> Fine. I legit got three points for changing the rules. <laughs> no more ghost points every year. <laughs> we have to start get, getting a book every week, like I, right in this town. We right, need a I, permanent I, record. Oh my I'm gosh. Gonna, I'll get it. <laughs> All right. Nicole in the chat said process time seven days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come sit out here. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah. Best of luck. That's but hilarious. what's funny is out of all that, I think only the lemon juice was working. Yeah. Yeah, like I know. The other stuff was just the air. <laughs> I know. But I mean, they didn't know. No. But the olive oil, I think, could make it easier to work with. Maybe the they pollen were just how to charge pollen more. stains like crazy. Right, that's their toner. But when you wash it, it comes Duh, out yellow. <laughs> yellow, the yellow always pigment. gets, and the gold just makes it look pretty instead of <laughs> foils. Oil it's is gold the flake. conditioning <laughs> treatment. They're or like, the let's Olaplex. just listen. Throw they did not. In there too. They did not want ash, violet. Oh, they no, wanted to be a nice golden pollen, golden <laughs> pollen, top. yellow. We're gonna call it Grecian blonde. <laughs> Grecian pollen blonde. <laughs> Yep. Do you want the GPB? <laughs> <laughs> so Come to Zyrtec. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um the so TSA stole somebody's Dyson. Uh, that sucks. So here's what I what I learned by reading this though, because it was interesting. I was like, why would they take a blow dryer? from because it's worth money they take whatever they want well that's yeah that's a thought too because somebody in this article also said that it wasn't an actual tsa person yeah that that's it. what so but that what they took from her was the air wrap and mm -hmm. what they're saying is you can't travel with um curling irons apparently no. carry on i would argue until that flight was canceled you've done that no, but what the hell? It's not uh, no, a curling iron. Actually, when I was at the airport last week, this guy tried to take a baseball bat on. And they were, they were like, um, and he had baseball like uniform. So it was obviously. So he buddy. must be a baseball I mean, that, player. That's weirder than taking a bat on. <laughs> like, why are you traveling in that? <laughs> Don't sit next to me. I'll spill wine on you. And they were like, it all. sir, Wait, you we talked about this. You were like, I work for Amazon. I have box cutters or something. <laughs> or did somebody say, I'm fine. <laughs> Have you ever had anything taken from your luggage? Um, nah, just just water. Because mm. I, I accidentally had like, but that's it. Back when the state quarters were a thing, my grandmother collected a full set for each of her grandkids, and I was flying. It was around Christmas time, and I was going to see my brother, so she gave me his, and it was in my checked luggage, and they took it. Aww. Like, oh, like I mean, it was in your checked luggage. Yeah. Oh. So it was stolen then, yeah. like because you you were allowed to fly with that. Yeah, it was straight up stolen. Oh, okay. Wow, that stuff freaks me out. They take what they want. I yeah, know. I know my bag. Because what are you gonna do? Like I sat on the phone for I've hours had... to with no. They're like, oh, do you want to claim that something was lost? I was like, no, I have my luggage. Yeah, something was stolen. taken, and I just got tired of. It's sitting such on... a violating feeling. I've had um my stuff broken in, like a car broken into mm -hmm. twice, and all of my like. You know, when you're young, all of your makeup, your mm -hmm. face stuff, your clothes, your yeah, just to know somebody was in your stuff. Yeah, and they even just when took you just it. get like that piece of paper <laughs> that says TSA was oh, in I literally your luggage, have it that in my still bag. freaks me out. I know. I opened my bag when I got home, and that was all my equipment in it, and I, I have that paper sitting right there. So, do you know if anything was stolen? Yeah, yet? because I went through it oh, then, okay. but I was freaked out because I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, that's like my fear," you know, when you're Christina. To your point. <laughs> when my Jeep got broken into a couple years ago, they went through my huge collection of sunglasses mm. and stole some of them and left other ones behind. And I just see this like pile of rejects on my passenger <laughs> seat. And I was like, should I not wear these? Like, <laughs> are these not cool? <laughs> Did they try them all on yeah. and decide which ones didn't That's work for crazy. them? 
I, oh my they god! Yeah, they that's did. Funny. <laughs> they, that's crazy. Oh my god! Um, I just wanted to say that Julie in the chat said that we are very funny and thank you for starting her day off. Uh, good. I needed to head off to work, but first, Matt. She also wanted to let you know how much she appreciates your videos and how much you actually teach her each day when she gets a chance to watch those short snippets. Um, on our reels and Facebook. Oh, that's and nice. have mm-hmm. have a great day. So that's awesome. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Let everyone know that. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. Oh. It's so nice. Like that was one of the things I actually um and people can leave their comments about their TSA, you know, horror stories and stuff. But I just thought it was odd like to take from a ch- from a carry on. Like she was carrying it on and just to take a six hundred dollar tool is kind of well because Oh that was a carry on? Yeah, she tool. was going through security. Yeah. Yeah, and they took it from her. I've learned oh, my lesson. Oh, so they didn't though. steal it. To, no. Oh, well, oh. well, somebody took it. Yeah, somebody took it home. They oh. just said, you can't take it with you. Well, guess where it went? Home yeah. with her. Yeah. But it's in the rules that you can't, right? Like that you can't take, like how you're saying, you can't take a straightener curler or whatever. That's in there, right? On the plane, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's not a curler. I know, but it looks like to it, them, though. they don't like they're yeah. not. Now, when it's disassembled, like, oh, it's... it doesn't. That is somebody who knew exactly what they were taking. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't you I remember would... Orange is the New Black. There was a whole character story about the woman who just takes whatever she wants because yeah. she worked at TSA. And yeah. Look yep. what they do. It's not all of them, but it happens. Jeez. Um, I, I could never take someone's stuff. I know. All right, so I guess we got to spin the wheel because I didn't realize we got like two minutes. I know. Um, so, so spin it fast. Who who should we have spin the wheel? Let's have Julie spin the wheel. All right, cool. That sounds good. All right. So let Julie know what's on the wheel. So on the wheel today, we have MinervaBeauty.com is giving away that black cart over there, actually, which I don't have ready, but that <laughs> it's a really cool cart. And I'll show it right here on the screen in the edit. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, so Minerva Beauty, cool, cool black foldable cart for uh, the salon. Formulate.co, our friends there are giving away a free formulation uh, for your skin and hair. And then also uh, Mevo is giving away uh, tickets to their upcoming show, which I'm going to be speaking at in New York City, June 10th. So if you want to get your tickets for that, go to Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. And then we also have some really cool tools from freesaloneducation.com. Uh, all the tools that we came out with with scissors, razors, all that stuff, combs. Um, so good luck. Seven oh one comb. This is almost the same a razor. One last week, right? Yeah. The, not last week. The week before. That. Maybe let's just send her a razor and a comb. All right. I, I feel like it's one of those days. All right. Make Why my not? one job obsolete. Just pick it. <laughs> 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 I think the thing's tilted or something. Yeah. 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 I'm too strong. <laughs> I'm getting good. <laughs> he does the same spin every week. Yeah, That's the, the same strength uh-huh. of spin. So to uh, <laughs> get the prize, just email Matt at freesaloneducation.com. Uh, so Nick. Julie may have to, had to literally go into work, but I have her name and she might watch this back. So I'll just get a hold of her too. Just so we're... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Slay. <laughs> um, That's it, guys. Good show. Fun show. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. Yeah. I like these little conversations. Let's go bang I know. Some hair. I wish they could be like yeah. 10, 15 minutes longer. I know. Well, I mean, but they this, could. No, I know. <laughs> I wish like our our lives <laughs> were a little bit uh, more organized. We, yeah, we'll do that. We'll have that. We're Next. just banking on nobody has more than a 30 minute drive to work. You know? Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy uh, your weekend if that's where we're at when you're listening to this. Otherwise, Enjoy your day, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Follow Brian. Hairstyle. And Carly. Hair by Carly C. And follow us, everything at Free Salon Education. And uh, we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.